Well guys, we have officially made it to Christmas Day, and I hope you guys are having an awesome holiday so far. I actually just got finished unwrapping my Christmas presents, so like I promised you, here is what I got for Christmas. The first thing that I have here up top is this little panda shirt. Look how cute this is. It has pandas all over it. It's really soft and snuggly and this is something that you could wear like around the house or you can also wear it out. And from Henry Bendel, this beautiful navy pouch. Blue is my favorite color so this is perfect and I love pouches especially when I'm carrying around a bigger bag. I put like everything in a pouch so that way I can separate things and my bag isn't too crazy. As a disclaimer, I am a true granny at heart so that kind of explains these next presents. The first thing that I have is this Italian like cooking magazine. I really love cooking. My boyfriend's family is Italian so his mom gave me this little cooking magazine. It has beautiful photos in it and then she also gave me that navy pouch which I love. She also gave me these ladyfinger biscuits so I can make homemade tiramisu because she literally just showed me how to make homemade tiramisu. It was like her mother's recipe and it was amazing to learn how to make a family recipe. These were like the hardest thing to find for the recipe so she got me a pack of my own because she really wanted the biscuit lady fingers and not the soft ones so when we soak them in coffee they wouldn't be overly soggy. I collect mugs and this one is a Dunkin Donuts mug which is amazing. It's like perfect for me. It combines two of my favorite things, mugs and donuts and I am going to add this to my mug collection, which is slowly just taking over one of my cabinets right now. It's kind of ridiculous. As a stocking stuffer, I got this chocolate bear and then also some candy cane flavored gum. This looks awesome and it's really festive and cute. And something that I got from Mike and Fleur, these chai hot chocolate flakes. Oh my god, I feel like they just hit the nail on the head with this because it combines chocolate and chai, like two amazing flavors and I'm obsessed with chai. I've never seen anything like this before. This stuff smells so good. When you open it up, it's just like a little bag that looks like chocolate, but it smells so good. You can smell it through the bag. Oh my god, I cannot wait to drink this. This was actually a housewarming present from Becky, but I saved it to open on Christmas, and she got me the chai candle from Henry Bendel. I didn't even know this existed, but I am a chai freak. I love anything that's chai. I drink chai all the time, and this candle smells incredible. It doesn't smell like a full-on chai latte. It definitely has different layers to it, but you can smell the chai essence for sure. My mom got me three books, and here are the first two, which I am so excited about. She got me Insurgent and Allegiant, and these are the second and third books in the Divergent series, and I loved Divergent, and the movie I think is coming out in March, which I cannot wait for, so I am definitely going to be reading the second and third books very soon. I am just going to like whiz through those books because I love the series. And then she also got me David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. I love Malcolm Gladwell and I've read all of his books. This is his new one and it says Underdogs, Misfits, and the Art of Battling Giants. I think books like this are great because as much as I love novels, these types of books really get me to think and just kind of look at the world in a different way and it allows a lot of self-reflection which I really like. My mom also got me an iRobot Roomba little vacuum thing that goes around the room and vacuums everything up because she knows that I've wanted one for a really long time so she got me that but it hasn't come yet but she said it's coming soon so I'm really 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 happy about that because I just like having a clean floor and my aunt has one of those little Roomba things and she runs it every morning and loves it so I am very excited to have my own and it's just awesome to see this little like robot thing rolling around on the floor and it's like hey don't mind me I'm just cleaning your floor and then I'm gonna go back to my little dock just because I'm cool like that. My boyfriend also got me some really 
thoughtful gifts that I wanted to share with you guys just because they're really special and no one's ever done anything like this for me before like just putting so much thought into a present and he's really been listening to just random things that I've said over the course of like months and months. I've grown up going to the Huntington Library ever since I was a little kid. It's one of my favorite places in California and when we were visiting he grabbed a couple cards. He also gave me one with Blue Boy on it and wrote a really sweet note and then this one kind of has like my present explanation. He made this cryptic list on the back so it kind of explains all of the gifts. So number one says those who watch together stay together and he got me an Apple TV, which I am so pumped for because Apple TVs are awesome and this is just a cool little techie gift and he actually already set it up on my TV because he is amazing. So I can't wait to use it. I think we're going to be watching some stuff on it tonight. Number two is Fancy Energizer and that is the coffee maker that he got me. He got me this French press Chambord coffee maker. He knew that I really wanted a proper coffee maker because I love my Keurig, but there are times where I just want a nice, good quality cup of coffee. And one of my friends introduced me to Tonks Coffee, which is amazing. It tastes so good, but I never could make it when he would have like the ground coffee beans. So now I can make my own cup of really yummy coffee. The next one on the list says feed your belly. So he got reservations at the Little Door in West Hollywood, which is a restaurant that I've been wanting to go to for years and he remembered that I had mentioned it and he got reservations so I'm super excited. It's supposed to be one of the best restaurants in um, LA and I just can't wait to go. I've been to the little next door which is the little cafe that's right next door but I've never been to the little door which is like the sit down dining room experience. I have all these papers here for like the printouts of the reservations and stuff. But he also got reservations at Katsuya in Hollywood and I'm excited for that because he knows that I love sushi. The next one says non-ocean water and I was like what the heck? And he got us um, a day at a spa, so we'll just be able to relax and talk and just kind of chill out. I haven't really spent too much time at spas. I've had like massages and facials before, but yeah, I've never had like a full on spa experience where you kind of go through everything. So that's gonna be awesome and he's gonna do it too. So uh, props to him for coming along on a spa day. And the last one on the list says the only book you watch. And I was like, is this some kind of riddle? Because I don't get this. And he got two tickets to see the Book of Mormon because it's here in LA at the Pantages Theater. And I am so happy because I've been wanting to see the Book of Mormon for the past two years and actually a couple years ago when we were in New York we were gonna go see it but tickets were like through the roof because we were getting them last minute and I think they were close to like $800 a piece and so we were like never mind never mind I can't wait to see the Book of Mormon because it's supposed to be phenomenal and I just love stuff like that I think the last show that I actually saw was Wicked with Fleur and we were just both floored when we saw that so I am very very excited for the Book of Mormon but that is what I got for Christmas this year and I just wanted to take this time and tell you guys how thankful I am for you and I hope that you are able to spend this holiday with loved ones and just surround yourself with lots of love and happiness because you are seriously amazing and this past year has been incredible and it's just awesome having you guys there with me as I grow and progress through my life and it's just really cool to have all of you out there and I just wanted to tell you guys how thankful I am for you. This video is going to end DIY December but I am going to have more videos for you guys very soon after holiday season and yeah I love you and I will see you guys later. Bye!